My name is Grace. And I'm Linnea. And we're here wondering if you have yet another minute to listen to us talk about something funny and Canadian and historical and interesting and, I don't know, maybe super depressing. You never know with Grace. (laughs) You don't know what direction we're going to (laughs) go. I am unreliable and frantic (laughs) in what I want to talk about. But this time, the adjective I would use to describe it is festive because we're coming up on the first of holiday of like holiday season we are we sure are thanksgiving thanksgiving so exciting i love thanksgiving are you a thanksgiving person oh yeah any event where there are multiple meals involved (laughs) are like my true joy and as a child of divorce (laughs) with like a step the one perk (laughs) yeah it's like it's like everybody wants a piece of you at their dinner table and you get a piece of all the pie it's so great Um, especially as a kid when i was younger now that i'm older i don't have to get driven to places with my parents so it's like i get to choose which dinners i go to I think Thanksgiving is a little more of like an adult holiday where you're like, oh, I can just enjoy a meal and sit down and not have to work and drink some wine. Whereas a kid, you're just like, "Eh, it's just a long weekend and I'm eating turkey. Yeah, exactly. So I think this year I'll be attending two dinners. One will be a ham. One will be a turkey. Oh, okay. Yeah. My Nana's a big ham person. Like ham is Easter ham and Thanksgiving ham. Okay. Okay. Thanksgiving usually gets a turkey too. It's just, just that. Both. Sh- oh, oh. <laughs> We've talked about my nana. <laughs> What's her opinion of turducken? Have you ever had a turducken? I've never had a turducken. I, I don't have. know how she would feel about it. We did deep fried turkey one year for Thanksgiving. Ooh. My uncle did it, and uh, in the like, he's a surgeon in Halifax, and like cooking is like his like side thing other than something playing the saxophone and golfing so something like, that you can do just as like neurotically as yeah surgery so when i cooking. say he deep fried a turkey like this was the least trailer park boys version of a deep fried turkey he had like <laughs> surgical pots of and course. like it was very intense That's so funny. he wore goggles like it was a process <laughs> it was not it was not um, a concern at all like there was no point where I was like oh he's gonna like the yard on fire yeah. I was like okay and it was actually so good good um it awesome. was delicious yeah yeah I've had a turducken and I've had a turporkin which is whoa, whoa. the same except instead of duck it's pork turporkin yeah so it's like a turkey and then there's pork and then there's a chicken with stuffing in between each ring that's it's, crazy. It, yeah, it's definitely. Does your mom do this? No. Oh, so like okay. there was someone we were going to our grandparents in Truro when we had them both, and it was like someone there was making them. Okay. I envision like in their shed. <laughs> like, okay. They just went out and like shot a turkey, and they're like, <laughs> "What can I do with it?" Stuffed it inside. Yeah. It. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then like I, for some reason that's just like reminding me that my mom. That she was down in like New England area with my dad, and she was just like, "We just saw like a wild turkey on the side of the road." <laughs> I was like, "They're scary. Yeah. They're big." And she's like, "That was a bad time of year for it to be out. Like, <laughs> it was like around Thanksgiving." <laughs> That's funny. But anyways, yeah, our dinner I think is like really, really traditional, oh, and yeah. we were always like one dinner. Yeah, mostly um, you wholesome, happy family. <laughs> yeah, you know, my parents just like love each other. It's like it's really uh, uninteresting. It doesn't build any character. <laughs> that's what the three brothers were for. <laughs> that's why I have three brothers. <laughs> like, what time of day is your oh. turkey dinner? So my nana would be like the more traditional dinner. We do that on Monday. Okay. Um. So we do Thanksgiving Monday because she's very big into the church, and so there's a lot of oh, church I events see. over Thanksgiving, and so she, we do Thanksgiving Monday at her house, and. Uh, we eat, I'm using air quotes here, dinners at two. Yes, right? We usually like, end up eating around, you know, anywhere between 345 to seven. Like I don't it, know if that's a maritime <laughs> thing or if it's just like an old person thing. But I've spoken to like my friends yeah. who are annoyed if dinner like on a Thanksgiving day mm. is later than 2 p.m. No. Like we always just do like five o'clock. It's never. But if I go to my grandparents... 
Yeah. You've got to, like, hold them back from having dinner at (laughs) noon. Oh, no. And that's just every Sunday. No. (laughs) My Nana's, like, my Nana's, like, 2 p.m. And then, like, you show up and everybody gets there. And then there's stuff to do. And it just depends how quickly things are moving. It's usually Mm. just her and my uncle. Like, it's kind of their thing. Mm. Um, My mother's sometimes allowed in. But the rest of us are, like, not allowed in the kitchen. (laughs) yeah Um, my mom is my mom has always done that i genuinely like we've always had turkey my mom always makes turkey i don't know how to do it because me me either and i'm sure if she's listening to this right now she's like you could help um (laughs) but i have there hasn't been like an open offer to help at the so this is my mom my mom maybe if you want help you can ask (laughs) because my mom's always like it's stuff like that it's like making a a turkey is a good example or like a pot roast like any of those large meat things yeah like i think i could fumble my way through it with a cookbook but it's certainly not something i've learned how to do from my no, mother no 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 yeah yeah like that's not th- and there is no open invitation i agree Lori. same thing you want help but i i know my mother and my mother does not want help <laughs> she does <laughs> my mother help. does not want my assistance i think like <laughs> My older brother would help a lot for because he was vegetarian for a long time. So he would be like making a vegetarian something to right. go with these meals. I'm not I'm not very helpful. <laughs> I'm really not. I feel really bad. I bet you help with the wine. Oh yeah, yeah. I definitely help get through it. Yeah. Um I'd I'd like to say I bring an air of levity maybe <laughs> to the day. <laughs> I'm not very helpful. It's so much like so I mean this is a, a weird connection but okay. <laughs> I know. Oh, for those of you who don't understand, we're we're going to be talking about Thanksgiving oh, yeah. today. today and we're just I about think we mentioned that, but just making sure. Yeah, we're going to get into a bit more history of Thanksgiving <laughs> in a second. That's what I want the theme to be today. But like, I think of and this might get cut. I don't know if it's racist or not. Oh, but gosh. there's just like so when when China had its one child law, a oh, lot yeah. of like parents would choose to keep a son over keeping a daughter yeah right because in within their culture and tradition it's the son that takes care of the parents in old age exactly and they can enter like the labor force and help with the family income and the daughter can't do any of that and she's just gonna get pregnant and die right she's gonna leave she's gonna have children of her own she's gonna have her own family she's not gonna be there to help yeah that is my very uh unnuanced interpretation of that cultural standard that I'm just saying that applies to me. Like I feel that's how I feel because <laughs> I'm not helping. <laughs> Great, that's just how oh I feel. <laughs> I don't know. It's just where my brain went, and I don't know if that's like offensive or not. <sighs> Oops. Lucky Ben. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bennett McNutt's a winner. Oh yeah, he's he a great guy. Picked. He's chosen. <laughs> he's far more. Um, it's more of an active offer, as we used to say in Parks Canada, the active offer of service instead of passively waiting to be asked, <laughs> which I feel like I embody a lot of. Um, <laughs> I like that. The active Sloth offer is of service. definitely my advice. <laughs> you know, I've never heard that. The oh, active really? offer the of active service. Offer. But That's why we say hello, bonjour. It's the active offer of bilingual service. Huh. In- so insider sense. information but like as someone who's been a server mm. it's definitely like the active offer you're just like what yeah. can i do for you absolutely before you find five minutes to have a problem like let yeah. me just like squash it now <laughs> yeah 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 it's definitely you like, need more napkins bob <laughs> i've got more napkins active offer is our lingo for basically just good service because you can totally compare that to bad service which is very Mm. passive service waiting for you like having to flag down your waitress yeah to ask for your bill or ask for another drink like obviously sometimes they're busy but other times you're like you haven't come by my table and like this many yeah so huh huh well so you are (laughs) passive i guess so at least at least in the home (laughs) No. To my parents, who I love dearly, and uh, they've always given me everything I ever wanted. <laughs> you have such a great life. Oh, I'm an asshole. <laughs> uh, anyway, do you have any like special dishes that you do for Thanksgiving? Yes. Ooh. Okay. So, like I said, my uncle, bit of a foodie. Okay. So this is like his time to shine. <laughs> Monday isn't a surgery day, so. He always has it off. He always has it off anyway, so it's like, it's a big deal. He makes this rice dish that is like, 
I'm going to bring you some okay. because it's the most delicious thing I've ever eaten in my life. And it involves a few elements of food that I really don't like otherwise. It's got oh. mushrooms in it, and I really don't, yeah, like, you mushrooms. don't like mushrooms. Is it a risotto? It's not, it's not quite. It's like a rice casserole. Oh. But it's got, like, this wild, like, I don't know where he buys this fancy friggin' rice, but it's, like, purple and white and orange and, like, oh. anyway, it's really fancy. <laughs> Since I've been six years old, I've been eating this. <laughs> Rainbow anyway, rice. So it's this rice. And then it kind of is, like, yeah, it's, like, wild rice, like, thinner. Mm. And then uh, there's, like, a mushroom rosemary layer and then, like, an apple layer and... It's it's very unique. And then there's, like, potato on top with cheese. Ooh. It's amazing. Yeah. And it's delicious. And I love it. It's, and like, it's like risotto crossed with, like, scalloped potatoes almost. Right? That's so crazy. since I've been an adult, he has, like, made me one to take home <laughs> after Thanksgiving because he knows I love it. Um, other than that, my Nana's a big pie maker. Mm. Like, she loves pie. Mm. And, and she makes a good pie. So we do apple and pumpkin. Ooh, like, homemade, yeah. very classic. Um always asparagus my nana loves asparagus we're a big brussels sprout family yeah i love brussels sprouts mm -hmm. but um no we usually get asparagus <laughs> i guess that's it what about you what do you have well we i think ours is pretty standard for the most part especially in the sense that we just turn sweet potato into a preliminary dessert okay oh um, so this so is like a... maple syrup and like in later years we've been putting like marshmallows on top so this is an interesting thing because my mom's family, so this is like my mom and Paul's divide. Oh, okay. My mom was appalled. <laughs> With Paul. Shocked. Yes, <laughs> shocked. Terrorized. <laughs> the first Thanksgiving we spent with Paul's family because they brought out this like whipped sweet potato with like marshmallows and like a yeah. maple syrup drizzle. And my mom Delicious. was like, what the hell <laughs> is this abomination and paul was like it's sweet potatoes because at my nana's the way we eat sweet potatoes is it's literally sweet potatoes cut in half and then you like kind of oh like a baked so it's like a baked sweet potato and it's very savory yeah like it's not sweet it's like rosemary and salt and pepper and olive oil and it's like and they're delicious mm -hmm. and it's more of like i think my nana would call them yams yeah and i don't really know the difference and i don't really there but, is a difference. It has been explained to be and by I my dad before. I think she does it with sweet but, potatoes, but it's just yeah. the way of cooking them and you bake them. Mm. And so they're they're really good. But my mom was like, this is absolutely real. Not. Like, what is marshmallows? <laughs> like, my mom was horrified. One, she was like, yeah. what is that? I remember one year as a child, like, sweet potato was my favorite food growing up. It was like my thing. I <gasps> love sweet potato. Yeah. I ate so much my nose turned orange. <laughs> when I was oh, a baby. Right. You, yeah, there's an episode yeah. of Magic School Bus about that. I know where where um Arthur, the orange head kid. Arthur? No. Archie? The one who always wants to stay home and yeah, not the, go. Yeah, the nerdy one. So this happened to me in real life, but I was like 18 months old. Yeah. And yeah. my mom just kept giving me sweet potato food and thought it was hilarious. <laughs> She was like, look at her little nose. She's like Rudolph. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it was like my favorite food growing up. And one year we went to my grandparents. And, and I think so. I think it must have been a Canadian living. This is like also from the the depths of my brain. I'm um, trying to remember this because I was a child at the time. And so I think it was there. It might have been somewhere else. But anyways, um, I don't want to make guilty someone who is not guilty of this crime because oh. someone mashed carrots in with no, the sweet potato that's disgusting separate totally fine yeah but like as a child the texture of like a chunkier carrot no. in with my precious sweet sweet, sweet potatoes. potatoes i was just like thanksgiving is ruined <laughs> i will never never again <laughs> and it might have even just been a nice meal but i i just remember it being like i'm so disappointed because i don't as a kid i didn't really like potatoes Mm, and like weird. turkey if it was too dry i didn't really like yeah. it either so i was i think i remember being like there's always sweet potatoes like they're always there for me <laughs> and then they, and weren't. they were ruined <laughs> also in a little bit of grace origin story oh my my first word outside of like a name was around thanksgiving because pie was like my oh, first I word love that. so all thanksgiving i'd just been eating pie filling and because I was like a baby. Okay, that's super <laughs> funny because my first word is more. 
but I said it. I I was closer to Christmas. Oh, okay. But it was about food. Yeah, and it was more. <laughs> more. And I do the little baby hand thing oh, where you like, so cute. yeah. And my mom has there's a video of me doing it. More, more, more. <laughs> yeah, I was just like I'd been eating pie filling pie. all weekend, and then we were driving. We drove, <laughs> as my mom tells it, we were driving by like a pumpkin patch, and there were pumpkins. It was like pie. <laughs> Those will be pie someday <laughs> for me, Grace. And Ben was like, shut up, Grace. <laughs> ben was my first word. Aww. I said Ben before mom, dad, and pie. I like that. <laughs> so for this week's Have You yeah. Got a Minute? So I just think that like American Thanksgiving is so mythologized. Like everybody knows the fake story of <laughs> the pilgrims being super peaceful with the the Native Americans. Lies. They, all lies. And they like share this meal and it's not true. And and you know, there was no like smallpox or anything. And everybody was beautiful. Uh, and they all had buckles on their hats and shoes. <laughs> buckles like, on their hats and or or kerchiefs. The, or all kerchiefs the ladies on had their little heads. kerchiefs. Yeah. So I feel like we all know that story, but I was like, well, what's, what is the origin of Canadian Thanksgiving? Like, are we just copycats? I figured just copycats. Is there a reason we have it in October instead of like around the time of American Thanksgiving? Like, why is there Because in Canada, things don't revolve around football. (laughs) So I just thought, I I found this like blog post uh, by someone named Allison Nagy. Thanks, Allison. Written in 2018. And she gives us kind of like a history of Canadian Thanksgiving. So I thought we'd like go through it. Yeah. And and see see what's up. So she starts uh, by saying, in 1621, the pilgrims at Plymouth Plantation in Massachusetts held the first Thanksgiving in North America, giving thanks for the end to a drought and a bountiful harvest. Without the help of the Wimpanoag, who shared planting, hunting, and fishing knowledge and techniques, the pilgrims would have died. And so this is like the first Thanksgiving. Some records say that there is actually uh, an event that predates this by 14 years, but... That's like the American story. Yeah. That's not our story. Uh, Believe it or not, Thanksgiving in Canada, or at least the land that would become Canada, has its own history that's entirely separate from the American counterparts. Why don't we learn anything useful in school? I don't know. Who knows? So this was the misconception I always had. For whatever reason, someone had once told me (laughs) that Thanksgiving in Canada had something to do with the Battle of the Plains of Abraham. I don't think that's true at all. Okay. <laughs> I think someone just wanted to answer my question. And so that's what they, I remember this as like a kid, someone telling me that Canadian Thanksgiving has something to do with the Battle of the Plains of Abraham. But no. But I don't think so. Okay. We'll find out, we'll I find guess. Out. <laughs> Let's learn together. Let's learn something. Traditions of giving thanks long predate the European arrival to North America. First Nations across Turtle Island have traditions for Thanksgiving surrounding surviving winter or for receiving crops and game as reward for hard work. These traditions may include feasting, prayer, dance, potlatch, and other ceremonies, depending on the people's giving thanks. I think it's probably one of the most universal celebrations, at least in our temperate zone Yeah, is like no matter where you go, there's some kind of end of summer harvest into winter celebration that usually has a feast even if you're waiting for november when american thanksgiving is it's still kind of the same vibe yeah and then you have like your winter festival there's always like a seasonal element when it comes to european thanksgiving in canada there are a couple of interpretations Mm -hmm. so as the story goes in 1578 english explorer martin frobisher 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 We're going to call him Marty. Um, (laughs) And his crew gave thanks and communion was observed either on land or on the water. Oh, those Catholics. (laughs) They're giving thanks in what is today present day Nunavut on board their ship. So the explorers dined on salt biscuits, beef and mushy peas and gave thanks through communion for their safe arrival in Newfoundland. This is now accepted as the first Canadian Thanksgiving. And this is actually 43 years before the first American Thanksgiving. Crazy to think that boats were, like, successful. <laughs> that they could do it. Right? Know, right? It blows my mind. I just think about, like, sailing attempts that are unsuccessful today. I know. And I'm just like... like how did the Titanic sink? That's crazy. Seriously. We've been yeah. doing it for years. I, Centuries. Honestly, at that point, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> 48 years later, on November 14th, 1606, inhabitants of New France under Samuel de Champlain held huge feasts of Thanksgiving between local Mi'kmaq and the French. 
Though not known at the time by settlers, cranberries, which are rich in vitamin C, are oh. credited with helping to avoid scurvy. Yes, cranberries. What are your cranberries like at your Thanksgiving dinner? Oh, my mom makes cranberry yes. sauce. Okay, that's yeah. correct. She preserves her own. We don't do the that slices of cranberry sauce. That no. is no, 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 no. the only answer I was looking for. <laughs> okay, I love cranberry sauce. <laughs> yeah, it's so, so good. good. But yes, no, okay. What do you do? Same? Same, okay. but I have one, like, cousin and my mom's brother who like the friggin' can of cranberry shit because so, it's just like jello it's always on the table there and i'm like <laughs> vomit gross <laughs> yeah the neighboring Mi'kmaq likely introduced the french to cranberries or as they at the time they would call them a uh, petit palm rouge or little Aww. red apples <laughs> Uh, Champlain's feasts were more than an annual affair. To prevent the scurvy epidemic that had decimated the settlement at Ile Saint Croix the past winter, the Order of Good Cheer was founded. So we have okay. the Order of Good Cheer offering festive meals every few weeks. And this was like a medical treatise recommended for better nutrition and to avoid scurvy. It's true. So it's interesting to see how like cranberries are like so pivotal yeah. in that. That's cool. I've never really like thought of that. Are cranberries a thing outside of North America? I don't know. Because they grow wild like all over the place here. There's a huge cranberry bog in Lunenburg, actually. Yeah. Um, which is the Terabiata cranberry bog. Oh, okay. And it's crazy. It's huge. <laughs> it's it's really freaking crazy. It, it's, it, it is. It's a family, <laughs> actually. It's a, a the Ernst family, and they have this cranberry bog, and it's very cool. But yeah, they do. Uh, they just made a beer, actually, with Ooh. Saltbox Brewing, an orange cranberry. Uh, it was a cider, an orange cranberry cider, but Ooh. it's so good. However, despite this history of uniquely Canadian Thanksgiving, our actual modern concepts of Thanksgiving are influenced by our American neighbors, which makes sense. I mean, like, if you look Duh. at what we serve and like the traditions yeah. around it, pretty similar. So the foods associated with a traditional Thanksgiving, such as North American turkey, squash, and pumpkins, were introduced to Halifax in 1750 by United Empire loyalists who continued to spread this traditional fare to other parts of the country. Cool. Today, Canadian Thanksgiving is held on the second Monday of October every year, or at least it has been since the Canadian Parliament declared it to be so on January 31st, 1957. Before this, Thanksgiving in Canada had been held very sporadically, okay. uh, often coinciding with other major events and anniversaries. Okay. <laughs> was just like, Christmas Day. We've decided. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus was born and we'll give thanks. <laughs> There's a dearth in Turkey, so we're just doubling up. Yeah. <laughs> Double dip. <laughs> In 1879, Thanksgiving was officially declared a national holiday, and at this point, it was held on November 6th precisely every year. Weird. Yeah. No, you need a weekend. Yeah. Some kids have multiple dinners they need to attend, God damn it. <laughs> but weirdly, that's not what got them to change it. Oh. The thing that got them to change it was that after the Second World War and the First World War, mm -hmm. you then had the establishment of Armistice Day or Remembrance Day yeah. on November 11th. And so the government was like, now we have two holidays follow following on the same weekend sometimes. Yeah. So they were like, we got to move it. And so that's why ours is in October instead of November. Funny. As Thanksgiving in Canada has historically been celebrated on several different dates, it is fitting that even though it is observed on Monday, families are equally as likely to celebrate on Saturday or Sunday. Yep. Most Canadians embrace the change of date to October. So when this happened, most people were like, sure, it's, it's in October now. Since that period better coincides with the actual completion of harvests every it's year. It's true. Parliament officially declares Thanksgiving a day of general thanksgiving to Almighty God for the bountiful harvest with which Canada has been blessed. While this mandate for Thanksgiving may not be observed by all Canadians in its entirety, the ideas of being thankful or spending time with family and sharing a delicious meal still remain. Precious. Yeah. That's the distinction, sort of, between American and Canadian Thanksgiving. Huh. Yeah. Neat. I wonder if there's like traditional foods. I guess like maybe like the maple syrup element of sweet potatoes or or pumpkin pie is maybe kind of Canadian. Interestingly enough, my dad's mom, she always did lemon pie for Thanksgiving. Oh. Yeah, so she always did like a pumpkin or apple and then a lemon pie. Like a lemon meringue. Yeah, like oh. a lemon meringue pie. 
Yeah, but she did her lemon meringue with marshmallows. <laughs> she didn't make meringue. She didn't do a meringue. <laughs> no. No. Just marshmallows cut in half and then laid all over the top and then like torched. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I hope everybody has a happy Thanksgiving. Yeah. Have a great Thanksgiving. Have Hopefully it's a little more normal than last year. Yeah. So hopefully you can be with your family and stuff. Yeah. Spend some time with your fam and in groups less than 25. And If you're in Nova Scotia. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Well, thanks so much for listening to another episode of Have You Got a Minute from the Minute Women podcast. If you haven't already joined along on our journey, follow us on our social media platforms and check out our website at www.minutewomenpodcast.ca. And if it's an option on your platform, make sure you rate and review the podcast. Share it with all of your friends. Word of mouth is the best review. And you can catch another episode next Wednesday. Bye. Bye.